Hello everyone. Sorry, I'm running a few minutes behind. Let's see if I can find. Mom, can you turn the TV down, please? Right, sorry about that. I'm just going to over to the messenger group. Oh, hello, Chloe. Um, sorry, just again, we're running a few minutes late just because dinner was running late. Oh, hello, Beck. Uh, one minute. Okay, wow. Well, for all those who missed it, this was our class last week. And so this week we're going to flip it over. And we are going to... Going on. Yeah, it worked out really nice, didn't it, last week's class. It's nice and simple, super easy, and it proves that all world colour pencils really do work together. Um, oh, hello, Sandra and Pam. So tonight we are on... Well, we are live and it is recorded so you can go back and watch it. And it is on my YouTube channel and in the Creative Families uh, group on Facebook. So if your Facebook isn't working, you can head over to YouTube. If your YouTube isn't working, you can head over to Facebook. Well, hello, Mary and Arnie Robin. Right, so let's get started, shall we? We've got just a few classes left in this bad boy and... I think the first thing we're going to start off by doing is priming the page. But I think we might do it with hmm, maybe a purple. Let's see what colors we have in our magical box today. Uh, we've got this actually green. I rely on green so much, eh? green and blue we want something purple what about this one you reckon i know it's a mott mart so it's a bit thicker so it's going to be a thick prime we could go through the benefits of doing a thicker prime it's not too many there are a few but not too many well, we could use this purple here so with this paint here liquid text because it's a bit old, it's a bit, um, what I would call gluggy, like it's not, see how the bits and pieces are slowly coming apart? This means that the paint isn't fully mixed in the tube, so when you get it out you've got to mix it and then put it on the paper. Well that's old, it's old already. Yes. That's and That's like older than Amelia. That's because that is a very old paint. You gotta, you gotta mix them up a bit and just give him a good shake. Get a, give him a good shake. Hello, everybody. Hope you had a happy Easter. Yeah, oh, happy what Easter. are we doing? We're fluffing around with paints. Well, I think we could do like a purple prime on our paper. Oh, um, yeah, well, we'll just mix it around. What did we do today? Oh, we were remodeling. We were doing we're renovations at the shop. We've been yeah. sheeting walls. We'll see pictures later in the week. Yes. Uh, yeah. Quentin got tired, so we got really crooked. <laughs> In the end, yeah. And then done by Spackfiller. Spackfiller, 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 Spackfiller. Right. Well, we could do a purple, orange, and green page just for lols. Let's have a go at that. Oh, dearie me. I feel like this is even going to work really well. Oh, I reckon that's... Oh, really bad. Oh, Hello, Di. Yesterday. yesterday, I reorganized the pantry and the laundry. Yep. We haven't actually had a holiday. We've just been reorganizing what annoying anyway let's get started so this is quite an old paint like i said so you guys might have a few old paints in your stash completely understandable all of us do when they get to that old stage first thing you do is you shake it up if it's not hard in the tube if it's hard on the tube cut the tube open use the hard paint as a collage 
material. If it is um, not hard, shake it up and then flip it out. So it's going to come out a bit gluggy and yucky. So when it comes out like this, don't use a brayer with it because it's just going to stick to the brayer and not to your paper. So as you can see, very gluggy. Gluggy, gluggy, gluggy. Gluggy, gluggy, gluggy. So what we're going to come and do, we're going to have a little bit of water, just like a tinsy bit. It's like just damp enough to wet the skin. And we're going to come through and we're going to mix it in circles, not up and down. Mix in circles because this is going to mix the paint together and get rid of the glugginess on your page. Go. It's also going to spread your paint out very nicely. So we just want to come in and continue doing that. Um, it's interesting. I think it was just must be my iPad. Okay. Oh, thanks, Pam. Yeah, I knew you would like the color choice. Purple. Your color, hey. Sorry, I thought the video had stopped for a minute. I was very um, worried because my screen came up blank on my iPad. All good. Refreshed and we're back to normal. Right, there we go. So we're just coming in and we're doing a circle motion. And as you can see, no lumpy bits left. No lumpies. It's quite cool actually. And then what we're going to come and do is we're going to circle this one around. Circle, 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 circle. And let's see. Oh. Bit more of a circle than what we bargained for. Oh, hello, Diamond. Lovely to see you too. Yep, just a reminder, people, we have moved to Mondays officially for my classes. So then I'm just a bit fresher in the class, and um, it's just a bit easier, especially when we go back to school for Melia's and dancing. Um, yeah, often we do like a five minute, uh, I'm doing like a five minute dash from the car to a video. And that is including the three minutes that we are late on a Thursday. So. Not a great thing. So we decided that we moved to a Monday. So this is here. So as you can see, I haven't mixed this page up as much as what I did the first one. So the first one is nice and smooth. The second one is gluggy a little bit. That's okay. It's going to create that texture, but most of it's mixed in. And that's what we wanted. It gives like a bit of a nice texture. So what we're going to come and do is we're just going to heat this up real quick. And then. What we're going to do is we're going to add some white before adding our orange and green. Okay, so that's nearly touch dry. So we're just going to let the rest of that dry kind of naturally. So the reason why we're going to add some white before we add the orange and green is because they are contemporary colours. And while this was very opaque, this purple, our Montmartre orange is a little bit transparent, which means we can see the layer underneath. So if we were to add this colour, oh, hello, Diane G, to this purple here on top, it's actually just going to create brown or you're only going to get like a hint of orange. It's not going to be as vibrant as you want. And for like a nice effect, I think we want it to be super vibrant tonight. Um, so then we get like the colors as their own, if that makes sense. So we definitely want to add white beforehand. Um, this is going to allow us a bit more freeway. So to set ourselves up for success, but also to make it look 100% natural, I think what we're going to do is, is we're going to do a blending brush splat 
with our white paint and then on top with our orange and um we might just add a few drops of alcohol ink just to spread it out and get like a little bit of a corrosion effect along the edges with a stamp also in the white so i don't really know what type of stamp i want to do with my white uh paint i just know that i want it to be kind of a background patterny type color thing uh, we do a lot of script but i think we should avoid script today just because we do a lot of it we could do this nice honeycomb what do we reckon a honeycomb or these are very purple fancy yeah it's very opaque stencils mm. well that's a stamp that's a stamp it's a well used stamp. I like that stamp. We could do that one. But it's very small. Hmm. See, like very small stars. I don't know if we should use that. Could be nice. We'll leave it out just in case. Oh, there's a leaf. I'm going to put that there. That needs to for another project. Okay. That's a piece of art on its own. Kind of. Maybe. Yes. Right. They're very well looked up the stamps. I feel like that's sarcasm. <laughs> I don't know why you picked all those stamps today. I didn't pick them all this any other. Thinking. We're thinking. Oh, we could do dates. Okay, let's just go with those two, and we'll live with our decisions later. Uh, I did include this one just in case, but we might not. So here we go. What we need is we need a piece of plastic, a palette knife, a spritzer bottle. We've got the spritz bottle. We need the alcohol in before we even start. So I've got my alcohol ink in a special spot on my trolleys just away from my area. Uh, that's because it's like the coolest spot in the studio. And it also sits underneath. So then if I do have any leakage, leak it, leak, leak it. Any leaks, it doesn't matter, and also um, this case is always firmly closed. And that's just so then if there are any fumes coming from them, it doesn't matter, it's enclosed in the case. Well, hello, Raquel. So, just about awareness of where you put your stuff and all the rest of it. Um, right, we need a piece of placky to do our setup for the. Oh, English is not my friend today. The splats. Right. Sorry. I'm just getting my piece of plastic. I've got some stuff stuff to my plastic here. Not fun. Not fun. fun. Right. Let's grab these ones. Oh, dear me. Right. Here we go. So we've got a piece of plastic. As mentioned, hello Caranel. And we've got our gesso, which I'm just opening up. Right, so now what we're gonna do is gonna grab out our palette knife. Very well used palette knife. Grab our we don't want too much white paint because we don't want to waste any, so we just want one palette knife load. Give it a good scrape. Right. Now, what we want to do is so before we go any further, we're going to cover the iPad there, it's sitting there. It does show me all the comments, I promise I will uncover it as soon as I'm done this step. It's just that the last time I didn't cover my iPad, I ended up with splats all over it. 
and like take forever clean off, would you believe? So we're just gonna come in and completely cover it. Right, and then we're going to wet our white paint a bit. That's really helpful. And it's already slid off. And then we're going to come in and wet our blending brush. So this is just a studio light blending brush. Depending on the size of your blending brush, it will depend on how big your spot will be. This paper is really annoying. It's just not even sitting there. Honestly. I think it would have the decency to sit my foot one minute. Okay. Right, we're all good now. I believe so. Right, so we're just going to come in and dry this while we have our blending brush getting soaked. So we at least wanted that to be touch dry so then when it uh so when the white goes down it doesn't mix with the purple. That's our aim. Oh how my Oh it's okay. Hello Jason. Yeah, I hope you get better soon. I think you've been pretty sick. So we're just coming in and we're grabbing our blending brush and with the edge of our water tub here, sorry. We're not getting this. We're gonna come in and just do that. All right. We get water all over our desk because we are uncoordinated. Real smart move there, isn't it? So wet that just a bit more, and then we're gonna come in and dunk our blending brush in it. So you can see, you get a decent coating all round. Go. By having it all round, it means that you're going to get an all round spot. Put that one in there. Shut the water coals. Everything that you want protected is protected. Dunk for a few more seconds. Lift out. Tap. Aim and then just be prepared. There we go. It's not too bad. And then we come in and we add a bit more water to this. Yeah, and the less thick of the coating, the more splat you'll get. So, we're just coming in, and the less thick of the white paint comes, the more splat that we get on it. So, oh shoot, that was wrong. There we go. Oh, you're doing the splat thing. We, we haven't done that for a while. I know. That's why we're doing it. We're doing a recap. Yeah, make sure you clean that. Really? Yeah. Oh, right, there we go. So we're just going to come in. Put that in there. And you want to come in on the side and just scrape your blending brush on the side there. Reason for that is it's going to get off the extra white paint. And if you're at home, immediately rinse afterwards and wash and lay down like this so that it can drip in the sink. Uh, use soap possible. We're going to leave ours in our tub so that it doesn't, in our water tub. It's not great to do this. Just a heads up. We're only doing it because I'm teaching. Um, highly suggest that you go and wash it out immediately. We're just doing this so that it doesn't dry because we live in central Queensland. So then we're going to come in and pretend like my parent, my mum and my younger brother aren't having an argument over the which dishes do or do not belong in the dishwasher and grab our stamp. So I'll just show you how the um, spots work. So it went pretty well actually. Oh, and while they're still wet, hold on, we need to add the alcohol ink before we add the stamp. Goodness 
I'm losing my head if it was not attached. Right, let's see. So we said we were going for a green, orange, and purple layout. So the best effect would probably be gold, metallic alley, or a greeny glitter maybe. So we've got an apple glitter. We do have to make this decision rather fast, not going to lie. Oh, well, snow's not going to help. We already have white. Mm, don't have anything left in the gold. Khaki. Ooh, that went into the paint. Oh, well. Extra texture. Could use this mineral palette for me. Let's see. Yes, the purple looks really nice, doesn't it? So what we're going to come and do is, I think we're actually going to come on with this apple green. Shake it up a bit. And while the... So with Control Creations, you got a, It's like a medicine bottle. And twist up. And then we're going to lift up. And then we're just going to come in and drop it where our paint is still wet. And see, look, it pushes the paint out. And we're just doing this with our apple glitter. Um, uh, adult, apple golden age, sorry. Our colic. And it's going to push out. Ow. Uh, paint. There we go. I'm just going to put this one down here. Sit those ones up there. And then what we might come and do is just we'll apply this one down here. Just grab our stars real quick. Just see if we can stamp our stars. They're not going to come out perfectly. They might be a bit more blobby than what they are on the stamp, but that's okay just to get like a nice little flicked effect which can be really difficult to get with your alcohol inks because you can't really put them on a paintbrush and flick them if you don't want to damage any of your paintbrushes which is fair enough completely understandable so we just got that one there remembering with alcohol inks you want a well ventilated area and fan on Windows open, doors open, um, if you've got sensitive skin, wear gloves, uh, don't breathe in the fumes, or um, if you're using a straw technique, don't literally uh, eat it, because that would be bad, 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 and always wash your hands after usage before eating food. So, just coming in, and we're putting some of our white paint on our stamp, and... As you can see we're doing quite a thin coating and then we're just going to put our stamp where we want it and we're going to have it coming up and out of our splats and we're going we're gonna to have to do a bit of CPR with this one it's a bit of an oldie she does need a bit of a clean the heads up but she always works look at that reliable as ever I feel like she could be called Steve reckon that one there, that one there, and I think we only need her in three spots. She does look quite nice, I think. So then what we're going to come and do is we're just going to dry our layers. Oh, and we've got a flying ant. Uh, he's dead, and I don't really feel like fishing out my flying ant, so he's staying there. It's texture. Sorry. Um, we'll push him out after the paint's dry. Actually, we'll push him out now. Oh, me. Really, Mr. Flying Ant? You know what? Probably really shouldn't keep a flying ant in your painting. Just because decomposing animal 
Those are real on the seal that your paint makes. Can't let in air bubbles and make your artwork go moldy. So we're just gonna come in and dry. Don't get me wrong, I have plenty of paintings where there are ants in them. Because I haven't been bothered to fish them out. But um I've sealed all of those, so yeah. Gonna come in. So go and once again We want this to be touch dry. Now it's not fully touch dry, but we're gonna flick it this way so then our orange is coming down this way. So you know we get a bit of a balance. Uh, we do want it to be more orange on one page than the other. And we will be mixing in just a hint of white. Uh, and maybe no, we'll see what we can do this way. You never know, it might work a bit better. So where is our palette knife? So just with our orange here, we're just gonna come in with like teeniest bit of white. This is to make it opaque. Just gonna come in and mix it up. So it's not actually gonna really change our color of our orange, but it will make it more opaque when we do the splattering technique. Now. Where is our pieces of paper to protect all of our precious stuff? Stuff, 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 stuff. Yeah, we all hope you feel better soon, Jason. We really do. And then, so we're just coming in with that to make sure everything else is covered, which it should be because we already set that up for when we did the white. So just taking out the excess water again. Sorry, excess water. Let's come into play that and dabbing in. We didn't see how we didn't wet the paint as much, so the um, blending brush didn't absorb it as well as what it should have. So we're just going to come in and wet that now, and you'll see how much of a difference that makes when we add our paint to it. Just makes it a bit more easier to spread it around our blending brush. See, easy to get a nice even coat, and it's easier to see this on the sides okay and then we're just going to dunk into our water a couple of times no exact science here and then and, and okay so we are and then one more I reckon Ah. And then we're just going to come in, put that one in there, and then once again, scrub the sides, so then we get all that extra orange off our blending brush. It is good to go and wash it immediately after this technique, remember? Best to wash immediately. So. Now that we've got that. What we're just going to come and do is I think we're going to put a few drops of this Rusty Hinge Oxide Distress Ink in there. re We're just going to shake them up a bit. Yeah. So we're just going to keep shaking them. So then this bit here, see as it slowly starts to mix. Oh, here we go. Oh. Here, the metal bully. Oh, look at that. See? All mixed. Yeah. Now, right. So, 
we're adding this just because oxide is actually opaque and our paint isn't. So just by adding a bit of a drip here. Ooh. A bit of a drip there. And a bit here, which we will come and manipulate with our paintbrush in a minute. What we'll actually do is make some of our bits a little bit darker, giving us natural shades without us having to worry about the contrast. We're just going to put a little bit of it on our now palette, which started off as a bucky bag. So, you know, use what you have around you and a bit of our orange paint. Where is our paintbrush? So we've got our medium Motma paintbrush coming in wetting it and then we're just going to come up here first and manipulate this Oscar oxide ink here that we added so we come in and we get it to Out to the edges. And then we need some paper towel or our off sacrificial gauze because we don't want that to happen, not too much anyway. I'm just going to come out and go this one and then we'll just do this bit up here as well. Um, we're doing it, this, we're moving the oxide specifically in this area up here because that's where the orange paint landed outside of the white, so it's going to be less vibrant there already. So it's going to need just a little bit of help. And then what we're going to come do is add some of this mineral pearl. Oh, it's not fully shaken. Just tell by the bottom. This is our uh, an alcohol link, but it's got a pearl effect. Just to show you. it out just a bit more Ah, oh, so we've got that one, and we're just going to come in and dry him out. Just going to heat him a little bit, and this is just to get the edge off the water a little bit more. So now that we've done that first little bit of drying, we're going to come back and dry it again in a few seconds. And the point of doing this is that we're going to get like a bit of a tidal effect, uh, not tidal, tidal 
affect like water coming in and out like water puddles with our drying which will just build up the dimension and really accent that oxide that we've put in with our orange paint with that and then we're going to come in with our small tippy paintbrush our orange paint and then over here drawing our straight lines oh you can't really see that so i'm gonna lift it up so they can see what we're doing this is just to add a little bit of texture in we go so we've got one there one there and then i think we're going to come in and do another one maybe up here coming out of the orange This is to make the page a little bit more simple. And then what we want to come and do is before adding our green dots, I think what we need is one minute. As a birdie. A very simple birdie. And I think if we stamp him in maybe you reckon black actually or a dark Britain black might be nicer. I'm just gonna use archival. It's permanent, we're just making sure we ink the whole birdie. No, I'm not using stamp block. And then stamp him down. Not too bad. Then, while we wait for that to dry, we're going to heat our paints up again.
All right, so it's slowly drying. I did want that bird to be a bit darker, but I think he matches the rest of the page, which is quite nice. I'm only going to put one on there, which I know is a bit of a uh, rogue move for me, but meh. Nope, that pen is dead. It's run out of ink, or it has paint on its tip. Mm. Next. Oh, same thing. Dead. And that one actually is dead because it's been used that much. Got a green one, and it works. Mm, I was hoping for a black one, so then it matches the birdie a bit more. We don't have another color. Always just a little bit cautious. We're not going to add any more water to this layer. So technically, I could just use a normal pen. Don't really want to though, just in case I decide to add more water to the layout. Because, uh, you know, I sometimes just decide I'm like, oh, more water. Um, I could use this one. It is blue black. It's adding the shade of blue in, that's a bit dangerous. I have this one here. Mm, okay. What I'm going to do. Like two white stones. Oh, there you go. Come up with a name for the page. Thank you, Dominica. We're going to call it two white stones. We might write that somewhere. Um, so then I remember to put it in the description. Thank you. Uh, right, let's see. I did start kneeling for a reason. I was just trying to remember why. It's actually better if I probably hold it up to your height to do this bit. So we're just going to hold it up. Go. Look, you guys can see that clearly now. And um, we're just going to come and do a few leaves. Just add in I'm coming out into this purple area and this is just to give it a bit more detail in some areas that are just lacking it a little bit, you know? really need new glasses. <sighs> Gotta book that appointment tomorrow. I need to get my eyes tested before I renew my license. Uh, which is coming up, I know that. It's in the next couple of months and I just want to be prepared for that. So it's better if I go get my eyes checked on my own will. So then when I do it, it likes me to update my optometrist records. I can just put it in. Or I might have to go in. Mm, last time I had to go in. I also update my photo because apparently I don't look like how I looked when I was 16. Who the fuck that? 
22 year old, not looking like a 16 year old. Wow. Never would have imagined that I changed. <laughs> okay. So now we've added those white flowers, which I think just adds to it. I know you can't see it from far away. I know that. So let me just do a bit of a. So you can see them. So just add something extra coming out of our spot. Um, Splotches, splashes, smashes, you know what? The word will come. I literally only said it about 20 minutes ago, maybe even 10. Okay, so we're going to come in with our Kermit up by Marlene Paint. And we're just going to do some dots. And this is to add that green in that we've been talking about. Because we're doing a purple, green, and orange page, which is super, super, super contrasty. What colour do you Um, there's really no point in coming and scrubbing. I will be done in probably about twenty. Oh no, I'm crazy. Oh, cool. Okay, purple, orange, and green. We're doing super contrast tonight, no? Yeah, super contrast. What it happened to do with the fact that my eyes are, you know. Well, I would like to say that you would invented super contrast, but I, I think that's already sort of thing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, we live in the 21st century. It's pretty hard to come up with something new. Yep. I think if you went back in time, probably 400 years. Mm, maybe, hey. I could invent the bra. Um, no, considering. go and then just a bit more over here to accent this bit so that's that one and then because it is super bright we are going to add some black pen in there 70s colors there you go thank you Diane and then so we're just coming in Yep, our black pen works. Now this is just a regular pen, which means no water after this point can enter the page. We can go on the page. Just a little bit of a um moment there, isn't it? So we're just gonna do some faking scripties. Now we'll lift it up in a second. Um fakey scripties are just kind of me, two hands, one holding the book, one doing the scripty writing. Because I'm not that coordinated to do this up another level. We're also doing this so then it matches in with our birdie. Because our birdie was stamped in black originally. one down here as well so we've got it in three spots because odds are always the best as we know now let me lift this up so you can see because I know you can't see it from down there but trust in me it makes all the difference up close so this here 
is our layout for the night. So that there's where the script is first. And we've got the script there. And then the script down here. So it just helps you focus on all the different pieces there. I think it looks quite nice. The alcohol ink gives it a bit of a shine, a bit of a shimmer. I wonder if it's better without the light. Mm, a little bit. Because it's not. So this is it without the light. So then you can kind of see the colours of the alcohol ink and all the different effects then. There you go. And then with the light, you see the shine quite clearly. So it definitely adds a bit more to it. Um, oh, thank you, Diane G. Yeah, sorry. The light changes are just a little bit a heart attacking moment. But, yeah, it, it is important to show you guys that. So thank you all for coming. Um, our next class is tomorrow morning in the April subscription group. It's our second car making class in there with our week 14 beautiful family kit. We do still have a few of those left. I think maybe one, actually. Don't quote me on that one. Uh, one particularly no. Uh, and so that one there is at 9.30 a.m. Uh, we are all, well, we're kind of nearly all the same time. It is Queensland time. So goodness me, you scared me. You know, I have no for visual vision. <laughs> or if that was you, and I was like, oh, there's something there. It's me coming to have a look. Looks <laughs> lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, splatty. But splatty. That see, it was splat. I was going at splash for a few minutes. Splat. Splat. It's a splat a lot of me. Splat a lot of me. Anyway, so. um. Sees them at 9.30 yeah, nine thirty tomorrow. You'll see mum, uh, not me. I'm teaching at the shop. Oh, she's teaching at the shop. You might see me in the background then. Well, you won't. You'll hear me. Yeah, when one of my siblings. Anyway, so thank you all for coming. And if you missed our Thursday night video uh, with our new release, highly suggest you go and watch that. All the weekly roundup, and watch the website because we got lots of special little bits coming this week. Like, because mm, we're releasing four ranges this month, so. It's like every week something new comes since your birthday. So thank you all for coming and we shall see you during the week. Bye. Thank you guys for your comments.